Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video, I am making a DIY ring holder. This DIY is totally Pinterest inspired. I was making one for myself because I was in need of one, and so I thought I'd bring you along on this DIY with me. This is such a quick and easy DIY, and you can get just about everything you need for it at the Dollar Tree. And this is such a fun way to display your rings either on your bathroom countertop or on your dresser. So let's get to it and let me show you what all you need for this DIY. And if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Now let's get into this DIY. Alrighty, what do you need for this DIY? I picked up two six packs of these hair rollers from the Dollar Tree. One five by seven black frame. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. I'll also be using some of this black and white fabric that I had left over from my command center that I made this year. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below if you're interested in seeing that. And one piece of black felt that you can get pretty much anywhere. Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I found that Walmart has them the cheapest for 17 cents a piece. For this ring holder, I will be using all 12 of the hair rollers. And I'm gonna start off by taking the five by seven frame and I'm gonna remove the back from this frame and I'm gonna discard the glass and the paper and just set the backing aside for now. Then I'm gonna take my rollers and on each end of the roller, there's this plastic cap that easily comes off just by pulling it and unhooking it. Then you can very easily take and pull the wire out from the other end leaving us with just the foam roller. I'm gonna do this to all 12 rollers. Once I've got all the wires out of my foam rollers, I'm gonna place my roller in the back of my frame and with a pencil, I'm just gonna simply place a mark as to how long I want this foam roller to be because it's gonna fit on the inside of your frame then just simply cut it with my scissors. Once you've got your first one cut, you can use it to very easily cut the remaining 11 foam rollers. And you can see that all 12 of the foam rollers fit in this five by seven frame perfectly. Now taking the foam roller, I'm gonna place it on the fabric that I've chosen to cover these rollers up with. And I'm just simply gonna roll the fabric around the roller, which will tell me how much fabric I need to cover this roller up with. I'm gonna rough cut this. There's really no need to measure it with a measuring tape because nobody's gonna see it. Once I've got my first piece cut, I can use it to cut 11 additional pieces to cover the rest of my rollers with. Now to cover my rollers with the fabric that I just cut, I'll be using hot glue for this. If you wanna use a spray adhesive, you could do that. Hot glue gun is just quicker to me, so I'm gonna place some hot glue on the edge, the long edge of the fabric, place my roller on the hot glue, then add more hot glue to the other edge of the fabric. So when I roll it, my roller will be completely covered with fabric. It really is that easy. Then I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna add it to each end so I can just tuck in the fabric covering up the ends. Pretty simple and quick and easy to do. And there you have a perfectly covered foam roller. I will be doing this to the 11 remaining foam rollers as well. Once I've got all my rollers covered, using my hot glue gun, I'm gonna place some hot glue on that inner edge of the frame where the glass goes, and then just place my covered rollers all the way down the full length of this five by seven frame. Taking my black felt, I'm gonna place it on the back of this five by seven frame to cover up the back of the rollers to give this a more finished look. And I'm just gonna cut it out, then hot glue it to the back.
And to finish this DIY off, I will take the cardboard stand, the insert from the frame, and hot glue it to the back of the black felt, giving us a stand for our ring holders. I love this idea. Thank you, Pinterest, for this quick and easy DIY. This is so stinking cute, and this can so easily be decorated to suit your decor. And like I said, I will be putting this either on my dresser or on the counter in my bathroom, and this can very easily be used to hold earrings as well. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture of it, send it to me on either Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. And I actually have one of those videos that I will be posting this week of all of the creations that my subscribers have made that were inspired by my videos. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this Pinterest inspired ring holder. I love the outcome and I think it is such a fun way to display your rings. Even just to put it on your bathroom counter, if you're one who takes your rings off before you wash your face or take a shower, it makes for the perfect place to put your rings so you don't lose them. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 1500 likes. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.